Friends, tennis is such a game, where the rank which changes every day. Today's video some update for you. Medvedev returns to no. 1. Zverev sets new career high of no. 2. For the first time since November 2003, none of the big three are in the top two. Also, Kasper Ruud cracks the top five. With points from the 2020 and 2021 editions of Roland Garros falling off the ATP rankings today, there are some major shakeups, especially at the top of the pack. First, is Daniil Medvedev's return to know. 1. The reigning US Open champion, who spent his first three career weeks at the top spot from February 28 to March 20 earlier this year, moves back up there from no. 2. After reaching the 24th ATP final of his career, and second on grass, in Zhertogenbosch, Netherlands. Right behind him is Alexander Zverev, who rises from no. 3 to a new career high of no. 2 Despite not playing this past week, but he did reach the semi-finals of Roland Garros a few weeks ago, matching his semi-final points from 2021. Novak Djokovic, meanwhile, falls from no. 1 to no. 3 After earning 360 quarterfinal points in Paris this year, but seeing his 2000 champions points from 2021 dropping off this week. With Djokovic at no. 3. 2022 Roland Garros champion Rafael Nadal at no. 4 and Roger Federer down at no. 68 this week, this is the first time since the week of November 10, 2003 that none of the big three are in the top two of the ATP rankings. Andy Murray is back in the top 50 after reaching 70th ATP final in Stuttgart. It's the former no. One's first time in the elite since returning to the tour in June 2018 after the first of his two hip surgeries. In the last 20 years, only one man other than the big three has been able to win multiple Grand Slam titles and reach no. One on the ATP rankings, that man is Andy Murray.